we are most certainly not all going to make it. And to explain why, let's look at the hierarchy. At the bottom, we have people who don't even want to make art. Surprisingly, this is actually a decent number of people. Not everybody wants to be an artist. Not everybody wants to make art. You could psychoanalyze these people all day, trying to be like, hmm, maybe they do want to make art, but they're just extremely blocked. And yeah, maybe some of them, but don't worry about it too much. Those are not you. Most people have at least thought about making art at least once in their life. So I'm going to say this is like 10% of the population. So the other 90% gets to stage two. Then we have people who want to make art, but just don't. You know, someone who talks about writing their book for like 15 years straight without ever having written a page. They have the internal desire, maybe they like talking about it, but they never actually make anything. But the people that do actually end up making the art is gonna be a minority of those people. Let's say 30% of the population actually makes art. But these people are only making art for themselves. They're not gonna show it to you, they're not gonna put it online, they're not gonna send it to a talent agent or anything like that, it's just, that's for them. And maybe it is just for them, but most of the time this is a cope and uh, when you produce art, you produce it to be shared with others. So of those 30% of people, maybe 10% of people will share their art in some way unsuccessfully. Sharing your art unsuccessfully, by the way, is a prerequisite for sharing it successfully. But let's say 10% of the population manages to actually get their art out in some way. Maybe they sent you the manuscript for the book. Maybe they sent you a link to their YouTube channel with five subscribers. Their art is out there. It's viewable. It's competing in the hierarchy of ideas and art. It's just not succeeding. The step up from that is when you successfully but unsustainably share your art. That means you get a one-hit wonder. You get a viral video. The casting agent calls you back. You start performing for money at local gigs. You're successful in that you're much better than a lot of people who put their art out there, but it's unsustainable in some way. Either you're not making enough money to live off of it or to get the motivation to keep doing it. You're producing stuff that's very successful, but you're not internally motivated to make, so you're gonna burn out and go back down to stage one. Or people just aren't interested in what you have to say or do as an artist beyond the one hit wonder you have. It's successful for a time, but it's ultimately unsustainable. That's maybe 1% of the population gets here. You may have even had a viral video or TikTok. Maybe you were performing in a band or a musical for a while, but it, you weren't making enough money or you weren't motivated enough to keep doing it. If any of that applies, to you, you're in the top 1%, congratulations. This is the last stage, sustainably and successfully sharing your art. You are making money, you are financially successful with your endeavor, but you're also doing it in a way where you can continue doing it for years to come. You have connections in the industry that you're in. You feel internally good about what you're doing so you can keep doing it. Basically, you found a market for what you're creating. This is your end goal if you want to do art as a trade and it's maybe like 0.001% of the population. And if that doesn't sound specific and niche enough, once you stay here, you can still fall back down over here. Once you make it, you have to keep making it. That's the sustainable part or else you just fall right back down over here. Maybe you become so successful that you get so much money, you no longer have a fire under your ass and your art starts to suck. And then obviously you lose your contacts, you get burned out of your art and you fall down to not even wanting to make art anymore. Many such cases. Maybe you get tired of what you do and it becomes unsustainable for you personally or maybe other people get tired of you and it doesn't become successful anymore. At every rung in this ladder, there's gonna be trials, tribulations, internal battles, external battles. Every stage along this line is gonna make you hate your life and wanna quit. And even if you get to the top, you can still fall right back down and all your work was for nothing. So no, we are almost certainly not all going to make it. In fact, the vast majority of us will not. But if you're watching this channel, you're probably insane like me and will climb despite the odds anyway. So have fun.